Number nine, before there was the snowboard, there was the Snurfer when it came out in 1965. Ooh. It was about seven bucks. And it promised the thrill of skiing with the skills of surfing. Mm. The inventor of the Snurfer was a guy named Sherman Poppin. He came up with the idea to get his three daughters out of the house and give his pregnant wife some peace and quiet on Christmas Day. He died a few years back, but you can still buy a Snurfer. And in 1995, Poppin was recognized by the snowboarding community as the grandfather of that sport and was inducted into the Snowboarding Hall of Fame. Wow, in good for him. Did he get any of the money from the snowboarding? I don't know. Boy. All right, number eight. Yesterday we told you about fat biking. Just what the heck is it? Fat biking uses, uses an off-road bicycle with oversized tires, and fat bikes are designed to be used on snow or sand, rocky terrain, debris, or pebbles. And since the tires are so large, there will be less stress on your hands, your lower back, and your legs. I've been seeing these on regular, people riding these around now with the fat tires on the regular streets, mm, too, sure. haven't you guys? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. So it's uh, it's supposed to be better for your back? Uh, it's just that's, what I, that's right. what I read. I yeah. have no yeah. idea. I've never, I wouldn't be caught yeah. dead on one of these things. They've been around for a long time, though. Just ride a regular bicycle. I mean, all these people, you see on the lakefront, these people with all these sitting bicycles, you, the big hipster with the big front wheel where he's right, up yeah. seven feet in the yeah. air. Anytime I see one of those guys, I'm like, just give me one stick to throw at his spokes. <laughs> just one. <laughs> but yeah. God bless. Have that fun. Way, yeah. That's your mm -hmm. cup of tea. All right, yeah. number seven, uh, Bon Jovi is selling his apartment in Greenwich Village. It's a 4,000 square foot apartment with four bedrooms, spectacular views in New York City. The guest bathroom alone is the size of a house. Wow. It also includes access to a swimming pool, steam rooms, a golf simulator, and a garden. Ben Stiller used to live in the same building. You never know who your neighbor will be. The asking price, $22 million. All right. Robin, they wanted me to correct you. It's Greenwich Village. What did I say? Greenwich? You said Greenwich, but. Oh, yeah. Well, it's spelled like. I think you should like... say it however you like. Yeah. yeah. This is what they get when they leave me to my own devices. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you get what you get. You're yep. doing it's fine. spelt mm -hmm. like Greenwich. You're doing great. Yeah. Just keep going. I don't go yeah. to New York. No, I don't blame you. You know? All right, number six. Here's a great video that will make us wish uh, spring could get here soon. It's a time lapse uh, video by photographer Jamie Scott. Uh, he sh shot this over the course of three years. Mm. Wow. Now we're just going to give you a little bit of a taste of it. But the whole thing, which is called Invisible oh, Jam, yes. is up to five minutes long of this wow. kind of. And that took three natural years. Natural beauty. Wowie. Worth oh, it. Gotta time it right. Look at this. That takes a lot of patience. Yeah, time wow. lapse. Let's give it another second to breathe if it's all right with you guys. satisfying, Paul. There is something satisfying. I get satisfying. anxious thinking about how long he had to sit and watch flowers. Right. I don't think right. he I mean, sat there the whole three years, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a lot of work. But you never know, maybe he did. Work. I don't know. I could be speaking out of turn. Yeah. Yeah. Good for mm -hmm. him. Number five, did you know that the geographic center of the mainland United States is in Lebanon, Kansas? They oh. figured it out during a survey in 1918. The land is privately owned now, so when they put up a plaque for this in 1940, they put it about a half mile from the exact spot to protect the owner's privacy. But even travel websites point out there really isn't very much to see or do. A few years back, Bruce Springsteen filmed a Super Bowl ad in front of the small chapel. Oh, oh yeah, there he is. Uh, number four, from time to time, we'll take a real letter to an advice column and, and see if we can help. This one is from Dear Abby. Uh, they write, I've been dating a guy for two years. All right. He has his late mom's wedding rings. Okay. He always said he would use them if he ever proposed to anyone. Oh, that's nice. Well, he proposed to me last week. Uh, last night, he informed me 
that he had let his ex-girlfriend of 10 years wear the rings because she loved jewelry. Oh, that's nice. It makes me sick to know oh. the rings were worn by his former lover. I told him he should have given me the option of wearing the rings or having him buy my own set. Oh. He thinks I'm just supposed to be okay with this. Am I out of line? Signed, Tarnished in Tennessee. Huh. That's complicated there. So was he engaged to the other girlfriend no, no, for 10 years? No, no, she to wear them. But was she currently wearing them no. and then he got them back or had he given them to her Don't while matter. they were dating? She's got them now and she wins. Past is past. Yeah. You know, and again, it's just like to reiterate, I think we got to really realize that there are a lot of unmarriable people out there. <laughs> right. And if you find somebody who's willing to put up with you and all of your nonsense yeah. forever. Take it. Take it. Let the past be the past. Yeah, you, you got a ring. The, right. You got yeah. a ring. And somebody you wants you. Just yeah. leave it at that. You got it. Little details. Don't screw it up. Yeah. All right, number settle. <laughs> Every once in a while, you just have to you settle. You just have to. Just say, yeah, it's a ring, and I got mm -hmm. it. Yeah. All right. I got him and the ring. All right. Kaboom. Yeah. The old girlfriend didn't. All, all right. right. Sorry, Robin. That's all right. All right, number three. From the Twitter account Amazing Nature, they can say this is a harpy eagle. Yeah. But this is almost certainly a man in a bird costume. What the? Let's see. It does. It'd be fun if we had some dance music behind this instead. Aside from it looking really large. Okay. How happy he is. Jeez. That changes the whole tone of everything. They get really big. It's hard to tell unless you put your right. face next to a problem. <laughs> yeah. Then we would have better perspective. Person perspective. Yeah. It's huge. All right, Ooh. number two. Fans of The Office will love this. Jim and Pam got married more than 10 years ago. But you can still check out their long lost wedding website from The Office. It's halpertbeasley.com, named after their names, as most bridal registries are. You can find their About Us page and learn that together we're easily the seventh most interesting couple in northeastern Pennsylvania. Paper sales. You can also browse their registry, which includes flatware set and a Porsche. Oh, get out. That's funny that's still up. Mm -hmm. All right, number one, here it is, the longest singles badminton rally in history. We had to edit this down a bit because it goes on for two minutes. It's really? from 2013. One guy is from Vietnam and the other guy is from Denmark. 108 shots. Jorgensen staying resilient for the moment. If you missed it, let's replay it again in slow motion. <laughs> Boy, that is a Hall of Fame shuttlecock right there. That's the winner. Oh, was it out? What? Oh, no. it was out. No. It says the guy in the red won the point. Oh, yeah, it was out. Guy in red won the point but lost the match. Nuts. Oh, mm. boy. So close. So the line is out? I believe so. It looks so. like it hit the line. Yeah. yeah. Well, then that's yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. It's a tough game. Yeah. yeah. That was thrilling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a night and night. All right, at 